More, let's cross to London. Nadine Itani is a lecturer in air transport management at uh, Surrey University. Thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. Thank you for having me. A, a lot of neat gizmos in that report we just saw. But uh, one question that haunts me is where are we going to find all this liquid hydrogen? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, sustainability is one of the biggest challenges for the aviation industry. And there's uh, the huge debate about the feasibility of the basket of measures that the industry is proposing and pushing forward. So the uh, aviation regulators and the international organizations are pushing forward the sustainable aviation fuel as having the, the heavy lifting to decarbonize the industry but again, this sustainable aviation fuel is insufficient, so it's not produced in enough quantities for airlines to consume. And it does not uh, have like, it has a uh, huge economic implications on the finances of the airlines. So it's not uh, commercially viable. So um, if we would focus on the energy transition element of the industry, this energy transition component or process is really costly. It's not costly only for, for from a technology perspective, it's also costly from the shortage of the supplies that are needed to produce this energy. And 2050 is far enough down the road that you can promise anything? Yeah, the big question is, what if these baskets of measures, for example, sustainable aviation fuels, carbon offsetting, even the, the new technologies like the hydrogen aircraft, the electrical aircraft, if these solutions did not pay off by 2050? So what's plan B for the industry? So this is the big questions that aircraft manufacturers and the industry regulators and organizations need to really coordinate and sit together to try to answer. Because as you mentioned, 2050 is not that far. Yeah, and uh, we're seeing right now re record air travel and a good reason why is because uh, it's cheap. Uh, that would no longer be the case if uh, we use some of these technologies now. Well, um, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news here, but air travel is not going to become any cheaper. Um, with the um, economic recession that is happening, the inflation, um, the uh, unstable fuel prices, all of these changes like put more pressure on the uh, airlines' bottom lines and the bottom line of the airlines. And they are really causing higher costs. So airlines are having higher costs in fuels, higher costs in even the interest rates that they are paying uh, to invest in new aircraft. Higher higher costs also for the labor uh, due to shortages and due to inflation and the rising cost of uh, um, of living. So all of these challenges will put more pressure on airlines and these increases eventually will be passed on to passengers through a more increased uh, airfares. Nadine Itani, many thanks for joining us from London. My pleasure.